We've all been there. You have a sim race and things don't work out. Maybe you're way off the pace. Maybe you crash out in a corner that a bat with earplugs could navigate safely. What happened? exclaim your teammates and rivals. You are left with a difficult decision to make. Either you tell a poorly constructed lie which is likely to be exposed, or you tell a really good lie. We at Traction prefer the latter, and we want to help you navigate these tricky situations as much as possible. Today I will be providing you with the ultimate go-to guide for racing driver excuses. I've used most of these at least once through the years, and I'm 99% certain they will work every time. So without further ado, here is the official Traction A to Z book of excuses. Buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy lie. Aliens. I'm racing in a league which contains the best drivers in the world. So good that they're in fact considered to be aliens, at least on the passports that I've seen. Bop. It's not my fault that I'm outside of the top 20. The Ferrari has been given an unfair disadvantage thanks to balance of performance. If I was in the McLaren, I'd be about two seconds a lap quicker. Let's just ignore the other Ferrari up in third. They're, they're probably hacking or something. Corner cutting. It's just not fair. I'm obeying all of the track limits, keeping wheels within the white lines at all times, and all of my rivals are abusing the curbs and cutting the corners. Why aren't they slowing down and giving up the time gained? Honestly, who's meant to be regulating this? Dave Cam. I watched Dave Cam's track guide for Spa last week, and he said I could take Eau Rouge and Radion flat out. When I tried it, I crashed into the house that's not even there anymore, so Dave is clearly a liar and owes me the money to repair the car. Shame on you, Dave. Equipment failure. There's nothing I could have done. If my wheel rim hadn't come straight off the base mid-corner, I reckon I would have hung on for victory. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. Oh, wait a minute, where's, where's that extra screw I didn't think I needed? Forgot the circuit. I was totally away in my own world there, and I drove the normal <laughs> Sandvert circuit. Ganged up on. It's not fair. I'm racing as an independent, and all these big teams with four drivers in the field are ganging up on me. One blocks, one gives their mate a slipstream, one forces me wide. Th there's literally nothing I can do. Well, unless, maybe I'll see if they have any spare seats, actually. Halo. That stupid Halo. In ten years of playing racing games, I haven't managed to hit myself in the head once. So why do I need protection in the game? How was I ever meant to see the car in front with that giant pole blocking my vision? Ignition switch. I've just done the best power slide ever witnessed. The crowd roar, and so does the engine- Oh no, wait, no, it's died. Remind me to map my ignition button to the keyboard instead of the wheel next time. John. That guy has always given me advice. Pick this car, try this strategy, use your brain, and it never works. I think I'm just going to ignore him from now on. Curbs. Those damn curbs. I smashed the apex in the last lap and the curb was lovely. Did exactly the same thing this time around and somehow ended up being launched into Narnia. Not my fault, the curb's fault. Language. I'm sorry, what? what? What does that mean? How the hell am I meant to know where I'm going? Okay, okay. How, how do I say, are you okay in your language? Magic button. No, no, seriously, I am as good as Lewis Hamilton. I'm just as fast, and I'm also known for my attention to detail. I too use a magic button to change my brake bias mid-race. Oh, oh wait, that's not, that's not right, that's new to me. I'm actually quite happy with finishing 29th out of 30 drivers. The car was new to me, the track was new to me. How was I ever meant to be on the pace? Overlay. See, normally I have an overlay for this, so I know exactly when a car is right behind me. How was I possibly meant to know they were there? A what? A mirror? Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Practice. If only I'd have practiced for this one, I would have been right at the sharp end. I just didn't have time, but honestly, if I'd have done an extra 20 laps beforehand, I'd have been there, no doubt. Qualifying. You know, qualifying just isn't my thing. I can never string a fast lap together. I'm much more of a racer than a qualifier, you know? That's why I'm never at the front. I lose out under braking, acceleration, and through the corners, but I am really good at tyre and fuel saving. Real racing driver. I'm not a gamer, I'm a real racer. Totally different thing. I drive in a way that would work in real life, so the fact that I'm off the pace is because this game is just unrealistic. There's no way the car would spin out like that every time. Put these gamers in the real car, and I'll show them how to really drive. Setup. Well, obviously they're ahead. They're using a pro setup, of course. It's physically impossible to be that much quicker than me without doing some hidden trick with the suspension settings that they know all about and I don't. What? It's a fixed setup series. Oh, for f traction. I'm just not getting enough traction. I need more traction. I'm just going to subscribe to the Traction channel, and then I'll have all the traction I'll ever need in my lifetime. Understeer. Easy win, this one. 
I can blame Understeer for everything that's actually my fault. Hit someone else? Understeered into them. Miss the apex? Understeer. Slow lap times? Setup is too understeery. Late for work? Understeer. Stupid car. Virginia International Raceway. I thought I was at Daytona for God's sake. With all these right-handers cropping up, what did you expect to happen? Weather. How the hell was I meant to know it was going to rain? We're in Bahrain and it's mid-June. Xenocrist. I'm driving along and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm hit by a Xenocrist. A rock or crystal engulfed by magma and retained as an inclusion in the resulting igneous rock. Happens all the time. Yelling teammates. Zero talent. That's it. I have zero talent and there's nothing anybody can do about that. Okay, so now you have a sizable collection of decent racing driver excuses. But what if these aren't enough? The more excuses the better, I guess. So here's another set for you if all else fails. A. AI drivers are broken. B. Brakes don't work. C. Crap connection. D. Dog ate my steering wheel. E. Eye infection. F. Those absolute f***ing morons. G. When you gotta go, you gotta go. H. Horn distracted me. I. My house is an igloo. J. Jumped the start. K. Kicked off the server. L. Lost the cheat codes. M. Macaroni. N. No idea what happened. Oh, I'm actually an oval specialist. P. Again, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Q. Isn't it annoying when there's a Q and you need to pee? R. Are you keeping up? S. Stalled at the start line. T. Spilt my tea. U. Underinflated tires. V. Victim of circumstance. W. Won't change gear. X. Xylophone out of nowhere. Why? Why the hell are you still watching? Zed. Zebra on the stage during Rally Kenya. If you still need more excuses, you're on your own, I'm afraid. What's your most commonly used racing excuse? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the Traction channel if your igloo is melting, and hit the notification bell if you have a horn button assigned to your wheel. That's it for me today, so until I see you next time, thanks for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day. Oh, what is this dirty doing on my ass? Get out of the way! Get off the road! You're, you're, you're wasting my eye rating! Yeah.